All right. Train station, pinwheel forest, Basil's house. We go to the forest. They probably won't let me. A transportation station doesn't appear to be in service. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I figured, but I just, you know, I have to check everything. Butterfly. A watering can. Do we water the flowers? <coughs> These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Aww. Aww. We could all aspire to be what Basil aspires to be. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. What's this? Oh my god. Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Cal? That's a sprout mole! Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they're lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that! You're stomping all over the flowers! Looks like the sprout mole is angry. Like us, sprout moles feel emotion. Can also feel emotions. Since the sprout mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is, now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori. Let's do this. Okay. So we know what anger does. There's also sadness and whatever uh, Aubrey does. Happiness? Uh, attack? Oh yeah, they're all attacking. party was victorious. <coughs> we found Tofu and Omori grew to level 2. Ah, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Omori, now that we're getting the hang of battling, there's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the foes facts journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing B. Okay, pocket. Snacks, we got tofu, heels, five hearts. We got no toys. Oh, we got jacks. Jacks counts as toys. Go facts, use. A dangerous and hostile, ugly plant creature. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It smells like dirty laundry, Omori. <laughs> cool. Okay, um... Okay, we still have some time before a break. Alright, let's learn about some more flowers or whatever. What are these? Ah! These are a type of flower called the gladiolus. The gladio what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. 
needs someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. What are these? These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? But they remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Oh, I was supposed to guess. I'm sorry. Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Wow, what a guy. So, what flower do we remind you of? What flower reminds you of Omori? Oh no, not again! Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling! You're destroying all of the flowers! Look at him twirl! He's a twirling maniac! Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. Hmm. We could try to make him sad. Or we could try to make him more happy. Or we could just attack him. We'll probably just attack him. Because I think we'll just... We'll just beat him either way. Whoa, whoa. Ouch. Well, he got to attack first. No fair. Let's... Oh, observe. Predicts who a foe will target next turn. Oh, that's cool. Let's do this sad poem on the Sprout Mole. Now he's sad. Out. Amori's party was victorious. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. <coughs> oh. Angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. So when he says sad beats happy, does that mean... We should make the happy foe sad, or does that mean if we're sad, then we will do better against a happy enemy? Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. You got an emotion chart. <coughs> Look at the emotion chart, yes. Defense. Oh, let's see. Um, so happy is increased luck, increased speed, but um, lower hit rate. Strong against angry, which is attack up, defense down. Sad, defense up, speed down. Some damage to heart will be transferred to damage juice instead. <coughs> Is that how it goes? Happy beats strong beats sad beats happy. Okay.
good old triangle scissor system. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, emotion. Hello, Patrick. Uh, yeah, we did beat Final Fantasy V last night, and this game is called Omori. We just started it tonight. Cactus? Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny you, that you ask because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? Wow! Hey! Well, that too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive in even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that you could... Even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa, neat. Cacti are awesome. <laughs> Not sure if that was really a compliment. What this? Ah, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like a mori. What does that mean? Bulbous? I don't know. I just think it's cute. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> ah, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. Hmm. The sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less damage and to heart and we'll lose uh, uh we'll lose juice instead how sad let's put it out of its misery okay so she can make it happy make things happy he can annoy things so he can make them mad so if we annoy uh Omori. Then he'll be... And you can cook. Heals a friend. Can be used outside of battle. Hero can cook. Let him cook! Now, Omori is angry. Maybe I should have made Hero angry because his turn was next. Let's see how much damage we can do to this sad, sad little sprout. Aubrey will attack and you will annoy Hero and Hero will attack. Level two, everybody level two. Hero learned massage. Oh, what? How did you get here? Hi, everyone. You all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already all set up, and I even brought some fruit. Oh my god, I love fruit. Fruit is the best. Let's have a picnic. With our friends. Well... Aubrey is like twirling around and Mari might be singing or dancing or something.
Ah, yes, some delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? Yes. We feel like new. Nom, 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 nom. Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Aw, oh, Mari. I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. <coughs> Excuse me. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to t make everything look easy. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Mori? Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Okay, now we will save. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Five oh fun. What was that? Oh, it's a big thing. Oh, is it a boss? Oh, he's got a mustache. Oh, he's angry. Happy beats angry, <laughs> right? old sprout we could reduce his speed no okay attack let's make happy Remembering right. Happy beats angry? Yeah, yeah, it does. So let's make Hero happy. I mean Kel. Hero's already happy. Mori does a lot of damage. Oh, uh, we're already out of juice. Man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry. We can do this if we work together. Looks like I'm going to have to teach you a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time. Wait, what do you mean? <coughs> you notice anything different, Amori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack, and you'll see. All right, attack. Huh? Pass to hero, Pat, huh? Look at hero, look at Kel, look at Mori. Call, call, call. Okay. Did you see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Okay. Ha 
Telepath to hero. Telepath to hero. Tell dunks on the foes. Look at... Oh, I can't do anything there. Oh, I can't. I'm not a... Whatever. Phew! Man! This guy really is tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. So our energy right now is five? Trip. Mori walks forward. He trips. He fell. His speed fell. Oh, I must be out of energy. To do more follow-ups. Nice! We're full of energy. This is the perfect time to use our special attack. Amori, after you attack, press the D-pad to release energy. I hope you're all ready. Come on, everyone. Let's show this big guy what we're made of. Or did I... Am I doing it right? I don't know. I think I was supposed to do something... Aubrey is angry. We're gonna lose on this tutorial battle. Release energy. Oh yeah, I was supposed to press down. Okay, let's build. Let's um, build up our energy here. Oh, we won. Okay, well I now I know. Now I know. Amori's party was victorious. We gained 150 experience and got 50 clams. We're level three and learned stab. Amori learned stab. And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. <coughs> that was so amazing. Ah, uh, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to Amori to hold on for now. We got a self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Amori, you should know. When you gain experience and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. Oh, okay. So... Skills. Uh, oh, equip. No, how do I equip my stab? Or is it already equipped? Stab always deals a critical hit, ignores defense when Omori is sad. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's already equipped and then when we get another one, then we have to choose to like 
switch something out or not. Maybe. All right, to Basil's house we go. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Soul Blazer. All right, let's go. It's a show! This house is a shoe. I love it. Say cheese. Oh, it came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. That gives it character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, sure thing. We all look so cute! How's my hair? I wanna see! I wanna see! Oh, hey, Omori! Did you wanna look at the photo too? <laughs> Too bad it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Woohoo! Another shot for the photo album. Move over, Aubrey. I can't see. Hey, stop pushing. You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Cal. Oh, wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first! No, me! Uh, stop it! You guys are knocking me over! Oh, no! Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh! Basil! I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry. We didn't mean it, Hero. Please don't tell Mari. It, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. <gasps> Hello, Kith. Kith, thank you for the 10 months resub. potted plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of things. A bunch of books, mostly about plant care. A fireplace. The fire is warm. A comfortable looking bed. Basil's photo album, his most precious belonging. So yeah. All right, let's put the photos back. Yay, let's get started. Hmm, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Amori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. Uh-oh. Okay, I got this. I got this. So, the first photo is that they are making 
a flower wreath. And then the second photo is they give a flower wreath to Basil. And then Hero's making one. And then they're eating <coughs> uh, watermelons and drinking milk and reading stories. And next would be probably this one where they're taking a picture all together, all energetic and stuff. And then this one would be after where they're kind of like, they're sleeping because they've just been hanging out and they're kind of tired now. Um, and then they do feet things. And then this is the most recent one that we just took. How did I do? Hazel's memories. Did we do it? There, good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil, even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise to never fight with Aubrey ever again, unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. Something fell out. Hmm? That's strange. A photo must have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems... so familiar. N no. That can't be. Oh, God. Mari! She, no. Okay, Doki Doki literature, things are happening right now. Huh? Your sketchbook, take a look. Okay, let's see if there's anything new. No. Yes, whoa. Uh, that wasn't there before, was it? Slender Man. Tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Meow. Not much to do around here, is there? Boot up your laptop. Stare at the screen. Stare into infinity. Open journal. Okay. Looks the same. The door is gone. Let's look at the light bulb. Looks the same as before. Oh, even if I have a knife, they just take me back. So let's not get caught by them. Oh, we went in a circle. Oh, we went in a circle. Uh... Meow? Or is there? Meow? Are you looking for a way out? Meow. There always is one, but... Meow? Waiting for something to happen? Meow? Waiting for something to happen? Uh... We could wait for something to happen. Stab. Oh. Stab me? Stab the cat. Just kidding.
Look at all of us. These are all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Sunny? Okay. The boy's name is Sunny? Yeah. Why not? A very very comfortable bed. You are hungry. A table lamp. A wardrobe. An ordinary house plant. Nothing special about it. Cardboard boxes are little littered around the house. <coughs> An old computer. A bunch of books. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Hey, Sunny. It's Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry, Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might be cut out sometime tonight. Anyway... I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay. That's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzzt. You are hungry. Okay. A small fake house plant. Some family photos. Cardboard boxes. Ordinary house plant. A bathtub. Okay. Hi, Sunny. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you, XOXO. Well, we look like the Amori character. Some towels and toiletries. A toilet. Ah, so we're were we dreaming? A small fake house plant. One of two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but mom likes to keep them around. Cardboard boxes. Ordinary house plant. This bookcase has been cleared out. An empty picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yeah. Ah. We have color to our face. Interesting. 
some family photos mom's bed the mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably table lamp cardboard boxes boy it's dark are you sure you want to go downstairs yeah just be careful not to fall watch your step because it's very dark nope apparently we don't want to do that um okay let's go back to our room then maybe we just want to go back to sleep probably yeah okay let's go back to sleep Oh, okay, that didn't send me back to the dream world or whatever that is. So we're still hungry. Um, we're gonna need some food. Oh my lord. Well, I can see a little bit better now. That's good. Oh, door is locked. But I really have to pee. An eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. Locked. Okay. Those are- that's- that's a really long staircase. That's a freakishly long staircase. What a thrill. What, oh, oh no. You're hungry. Yeah, but I ain't going down there. Am I? There's hands. Okay. A knife. Go faster, go faster. Don't stop. With darkness and silence through the night. <laughs> Jeez. Afraid. We're afraid. What will Sunny do? Run, because we're afraid. Oh, just kidding. Guess we have no choice but to fight this really creepy looking creature with many arms and hands and teeth. What skills do we have? Nothing. Attack. Something. Something shoves Sunny. The attack did nothing. Run! Attack! We are just getting shoved and our attacks are not doing anything. Sunny. Run! Skill! Attack! <coughs> Something attacks Sunny as he falls. Keep, keep fighting, I guess. Oh, something taunts Sunny as he falls. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. Run! Calm down. Removes emotions and heals some heart. We're downstairs. We survived. Bookcase has been cleared out. Lots of bookcases. Mom must be a reader. Ooh, we got a first aid kit. 
What are these? Some family photos. No, we don't want to go in there. Okay, well, I hope this is the kitchen because we hungry. Uh, living room. Fireplace. There are nails stuck between the bricks. Do we have a match? Can we light a fire? Can we get some, some light up in here? No? No? Oh, the staircase was not that long at all. Oh. This is a that was a door. Microwave? Dirty dishes. Got a knife. Steak knife. Yes, finally some food. You look in the fridge and find cold steak. Take it? Yes. You got cold steak. You should probably heat it up before you eat it. Not the microwave. Not the microwave! You're gonna heat up the steak in the microwave? Is that even legal? Okay. It's probably... You know what? It's probably leftovers. It's not like a raw... They didn't say raw steak. It said... A cold steak. So, you know, it's probably leftovers. It's been cooked. And we're just reheating it. It's fine. Okay. You put the cold steak in the microwave. So we don't have lights, but we have electricity. We have power to the microwave. You got microwaved steak. Oh, delicious. Ah, yes. A lovely, well-done steak. Would you like to eat some? Yes, I'm starving. We got food poisoning. Oof. Your stomach didn't agree with that. Maybe it was raw. Shit. Now we got... I don't think you can get salmonella from steak, can you? That's chicken and eggs. We got something. Bunch of books. Oh, they didn't clean out this bookshelf. Okay, um, we probably should go to the bathroom and throw up. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Lovely. You threw up. I just want to wash my hands. Okay. All right. Uh, ooh. One's at the door. I Didn't mommy told me not to answer it? Sunny, it's Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Could you open the door for me? Oh, 
What would you like to do? Open the door. No, we don't want to open the door. Um, empty. Mom did not leave us with a lot of nourishment. The movers are going to be here in a few days. And all she left us was enough steak to last us for not not enough days, basically. I guess we're gonna go to sleep. Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Okay. Anything new in the sketchbook? Nope, there's our steak. Maybe. <coughs> oh, collect the keys to fill in the blanks. A is in the grass near a stump. B is on a shrouded old bridge. C is between giant pinwheels. D near a cast off cartridge. E under a wet pillow. F within a large frame. Oh God, oh God. Do I have to get all these? Incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. Hangman? Whoa. Do I have to remember where all this stuff or? I'm just gonna explore and click everything. Okay. Press LB to open the hangman menu. Oh, cool. Oh God. Something fell nearby. Okay, cool. Meow, waiting for something to happen. Light bulb. Bum, bum, bum. White door casts a faint shadow. Would you like to do nothing? You stared at the door. Was this? found a map. Ooh. Wow. We got an underground, like, city. <coughs> we have, like, an underground cave network. We have, like, a forest. Maybe a beach. An island with pyramid. Uh, the moon or some kind of planet. Okay. Some windmills. I see windmills. Or pinwheels. Pinwheels. Press RB to open the headspace map. Cool. Can I do anything here? Doesn't look like it right now. 